Oh, hi, Internet. You might have noticed the last episode of this Halo World tour ended rather strangely. Considering it should have been the final episode of the whole series, I think this epilogue deserves a little bit of explanation. Back when Icebird suggested this whole wild ride, we decided to record the whole thing. I knew I wanted to keep the experience as simple as possible. Just do some small editing to cut out some of the larger cutscenes and maybe some of the tons and tons of deaths I had in Halo 2, but otherwise just keep the gameplay and our talking throughout. When we started our Halo 4 playthrough, I decided to leave the cutscenes in for a couple random reasons, uh, one of which was that I was using this playthrough as my run on the Bromageddon achievement, which is the one where you complete the campaign on Heroic or Harder co-op. I had finished all the other achievements in the game and purposely left this one to last because I thought it would be appropriate to finish the whole world tour with that very achievement. So here we are, the last level of the last game in our whole several month long journey, and just as the end is in sight, I got kicked offline. Apparently there was an update to Halo 4 that night in anticipation of the Crimson map pack, which was going to come out later next week, and I was forced to download it just as I was supposed to be finishing out this whole long, wonderful experience. By the time I finally got back online and then got back together with Iceberg and Wheels, it was really, really late. And because we were unsure if I needed to replay the whole midnight level again to make sure I got the achievement, we decided to just call it a night. So Iceberg agreed a few days later to replay that mission with me, not just so that I could refilm the ending in a proper way, but to also get this achievement. Because it was his idea to do the whole world tour, I figured it was fitting to finish it with him. So I refilmed the whole run, including him actually getting a really rare watcher assassination, which is cool, and figured it was a good way to close the chapter on this Let's Play. So I've edited the playthrough down to just some of the more interesting parts. It's not our whole mission all over again. And then picked up at the very end where I lagged out the last time. Thank you to everyone who's watched, commented, and enjoyed these videos. We made them mostly for us. A nice little memento to look back on. You know, bird, wheels, brick, and even pirate and funkster. To look back on a fun time in a game we love playing with friends we enjoy playing with. If they also brought you some entertainment, thank you as well. And now... It's time to finish this fight. Just give me a second. Keep scanning for the composer. We'll figure it out on the way. I think it's a transit system like on Requiem. Find a way to access it. I'll try to route us to the composer. Put me in the system. Ah, uh, you know, it's a good thing these are all universal devices. Is this the secret you've kept for me? This divine counselor. Did you just Don't jump off? I'm in the system. Hurry, go! <laughs> Portal! Portal! And 
everything. Yeah. I mean, literally, right at the end. Making fun of Cortana, you know, saying, I'm always taking care of you. Oh, that's not creepy. Not creepy. I'm the new. I'm the new evil like you. It's alright, but you must hurry. Shall we do this? Oh, yeah. Pretty much right here, as this this nice little cutscene started, things flashed on my screen, going, "Hey, guess what?" <laughs> no. No, I mean it's a there's a quick time event and a cutscene. That's all that's left. But <laughs> we have to play through the whole mission to get it. <laughs> you persist too long after your own. for mankind is misplaced. I'm not doing this for mankind. Cortana, do you read? Cortana, come in. I want to know what he's standing on. Matrix. Yeah, pretty much. Guess what, Chief? You and Cortana are in heaven. And here's your angel. Every prepubescent boy's Ow. fantasy. Oh, I'm the strangest thing you've seen all day? This whole game happened in a day? But if we're here... It worked. You did it. Just like you always do. So, 
So how do we get out of here? And where are we to begin with? I'm not coming with you this time. What? Most of me is down there. I only held enough back to get you off the ship. No. That's not... We go together. It's already done. I am not leaving you here. John. I've waited so long to do that. Your armor is sexy. I've wanted to touch it for... It was my job to take care of you. We were supposed to take care of each other. And we did. Cortana, please. Don't break up with me. <laughs> Wait. Welcome home, John. Wreckage knows when a sentimental scene is about to happen to stay away. You don't get in the way of a lady saying goodbye. There it is! Brumageddon! Achievement unlocked. Yay! Only took three playthroughs, right? Yeah. This always looked super real to me. Like, they took a toy and filmed it. but yours is more appropriate. Doesn't the Infinity kind of look like an incineration cannon? Yeah, a little bit. Missing the red, but... Mind if I join you? Of course not, sir. At least this captain doesn't need to... At ease, Chief. Yeah. Feels kind of odd for you to call me sir. I like Lasky, but you really, in order to understand him, you had to have watched Forward Unto Dawn, and I think it sucks that you have to watch something Beautiful, outside of she? the game in order to understand someone in the game. I don't get to see her often enough. I still haven't watched it. It's worth I grew it. Grew up in New Harmony, attended Corbulo Military it Academy. It was um, much cooler than I but... thought it would be. I was afraid it was going to be a cheesy piece of crap, still and it was actually pretty home. neat. Although, why does Lasky have the dead space armor on his back? You don't talk much, do you? Chief, I won't pretend to know how you feel. I mean, I've lost people I care about, but... Never anything like you're going through. Our duty, as soldiers, is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. You say that like soldiers and humanity are two different things. I mean, soldiers aren't machines. 
We're just people. I'll let you have the deck to yourself. She said that to me once. About being a machine. the new machine whatever that new machine is the Xbox 720 or whatever is there anything after the credits yes uh, but we don't have to stick around for the entirety of the credits there's that extra little scene with the didact talking and he's it's if you've watched all the extra stuff on waypoint it's obvious a flashback of him talking to the librarian and everything about humanity and how scary they are and it's showing the visuals of all the, the uh, composed bodies from uh, was it New Arizona oh here it, I hey there we go speaking of the thing I was just talking about in this hour of victory we taste only defeat I ask why we are foreigners guardians of all that exists the roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms, and the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered. I stand before you accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to recede. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things. I love this. I love that they've got all this Spartan stuff everywhere. Alone. He's so big. We can't go into a little gyroscopy Think thingy. Of my axe as you will. But do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun. And we are hopeless to stop it. Well, and you finished it on Legendary, right? I haven't yet. Oh, you haven't? Okay. When you do, don't forget to watch that whole cutscene. You, you on Legendary get a tiny, tiny little extra bit right at the end. And that's all I'll say. So there we go. Halo 4, done. Thank you for your help. Thank you for proposing we do this whole crazy thing of playing everything heroically. It's been tons of fun. And I never would have thought of it. all of the campaigns. And it's worth it. I'd say Halo 4 is probably one of the top two. I think... I think Halo 3 still ranks as my absolute favorite, but Halo 4, I think, now is a very close second. So you want to play some Crimson Maps again? Absolutely.